Who are the students? Today I am going to explain you about scalar quantities and vector quantities. First of all, we should keep in mind these are the physical quantities, which are classified into scalar quantities and vector quantities. And then physical quantities, what do we mean by that? In physics, we read about force, acceleration, distance, displacement, etc. So, they are classified into scalar and vector quantities. So, we should keep in mind, scalar quantities are those physical quantities which have only magnitude. That means, it has only the quantity. It has only the value, numerical value. Suppose, if I say, distance is equal to 5 kilometer. Here, it has only the magnitude. That's why it is a scalar quantity. Like this, other scalar quantities are time, temperature, and uh, speed, etc. Then others, physical quantities, which are vector quantities, it has both magnitude and direction. That means, whenever we tell force equals to 5 Newton along north, or acceleration equals to 10 meter per second square along east. Or we say displacement equals to 2 meter along east. All these are vector quantities. That means at the same time it has magnitude and direction. So it is vector quantities. Vector quantities can be represented by addition. You see, 5 Newton along north and 5 Newton along east are not equal vectors. But 5 Newton along north and 5 Newton along south, these are two opposite vectors. They are never equal unless the quantity that is magnitude and direction are same. When direction and magnitude both are same of two vectors, then only they are called equal vectors, otherwise not. In the same way, we have to keep in mind that equal vectors can be represented as 5 Newton along south equals to 5 Newton along south. Here both are equal, but if 5 Newton north is never equals to 5 Newton south, they are opposite factors, they are not equal factors. Thank you. Please, if you like, subscribe and share.